Alrighty. All right. All right, folks. This is our our Big trip time. to Dayton. You know, you haven't seen any of us yet, so here's <laughs> here's Jason ah! fucking Murphy. <laughs> Shit, that's bright. This is mm. bright. Don't you earn uh, me? This is Allie. She was on the show a couple times. And me. Why is the flash on? Anonymous. <laughs> uh, oh no, you ain't anonymous anymore. Dun, dun, dun. We're waiting on. Eric, Eric, greener than grass, Smokes. green to come here. Exactly. Hopefully that's not is him. That, is that no? That's not him. Okay. Well, we'll be back. We'll be back with some more updates later on. These nuts. All right. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. I don't know. Are we here? We're not inside yet. We're not. Really? We're not inside. The blue skies couldn't. Didn't give it away. Jason on his phone like he always is. Yo. I'm Yo. talking to Joey Numbers. <laughs> Joey Numbers from you Red Bull. Ready Hood. for this? <laughs> I'm tired. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I like what Rio does. I'm sure Rio's a legitimate sign. This is the line, too. All the way. All the way back there. Doors have not opened yet. All the way around. What? By the way, this is the first event I've ever been to at the Nutbag Center of Dayton, Ohio. Nope. And uh, if you take a look around, it's kind of clustered. It's like not really, you know. I mean, take a look. Take a look. Take a look. I mean, there's yeah, six or seven lines. I mean, this yeah. Is, this is kind of there's eight gates. Well, yeah, eight, eight, eight gates. Eight, eight, gates. eight parking. gates. Parking was a it was a pain in the ass just getting here. We missed it. How many times? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this line is ridiculous. The doors but, haven't opened yet. You know, so doors have not down. opened yet. This is the final minutes, and uh, yes. we'll, we'll be getting in. We're getting in there. We're about to race some hell. About to race some hell. Be do some clanging and banging in there. Clanging and banging. Drink some beer. We're gonna fuck fear. Drink beer. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep. All right. Let's get in there. Drop some. St <laughs> I'm a kid, Brodus Fay. Brodus, Brodus Fay. Brodus Fay. Birth of Fay and Brodus had a kid. I'm gonna hit him real hard. All right, we'll be back with some more updates. All right, guys, we're finally here, and uh, here's our seats. That was a pretty good. Seat. We are right. Right here, the right perfect shot us? of the. Perfect okay. shot of the Titan Tron. Jason, Yo. you said these are the best seats you ever had, isn't it? Period. Period. I mean, could, exactly. This girl is right here. Woo! We're probably about... The floor is right there. Yeah, the floor is, the floor is right, right there. there. We're, we're in row 17. Oh, we're not up there. Yeah, we're, we're not right way here. up here. We're, we're like right. we're really like in, we're like in that what, comfortable medium. It's really not that bad of a seat like in this it's place. Actually, the queue is like way up top. You yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. I was down there. Yeah, but yeah, are, we're literally about, yeah, we're row 17, so we're 17 rows from the floor. We're probably less than 200 feet from yeah. the ring. That's pretty good seats. Yes! 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 Installment of Outside the Ring. Yes! 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 <laughs> wow. We got fans that actually like this show. That's amazing. We've got two Are of they? them in here. It's a four-person show today. I am the one, the only struggling with my voice, Jason. Murphy! Oh, baby! My throat hurts. <laughs> drank too much beer and watched Raw Live. Ah. Murphy, alongside the one, the only. He, he drank. A six dollar beer. Say six dollars for a beer. Oh my god. The I Nutter would, Center. Oh god. Sucks. Yes. The, Security the, sucks. The, the Nutbag Center. The Nutbag Center. Has it been the greatest beer ever? Oh no. It, it, it was a Bud Light. It was a Bud Light. <laughs> and he uh, and he drinks Miller. It was Stone Cold. Huh? Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh. I'm so confused. Austin. Austin. And we have two guests again. <laughs> This time we have two, so we have four people in studio. Four people in the studio. Pretty soon, OTR is going to be on the road with yeah, the millions. On the road. And yeah, millions. the millions and millions. That's right. You're supposed to do it like The Rock. The millions. 
10 million <laughs> of OTR fans worldwide. See how much better that sounds on the on the. Uh, I was gonna say the radio, but we'll say YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we wish. <laughs> yeah. So just stick uh, with YouTube for now. <laughs> uh, he's back for the second week. No, third third, third, week, third in week in a row. In a row. Eric, he likes to kick ass and smoke a little bit of this. No green. What uh, that, you can't say that on YouTube? You can say whatever the hell you want on Rob YouTube. Rob Van Dam says it don't, all the time. Oh yeah, don't incriminate like the boy. Back and forth at you guys. Like, okay. <laughs> By the way, he's mad at you for drinking Miller Lite or Bud Light. He's got a Coors Light oh, T-shirt man. in the studio. That's all they had there yeah. though was Bud Light and uh, Budweiser and Bud Light. Well, I don't know. At least at the the one I went to because it was nothing but beer. They had Mike's Hard Lemonade too. Right. It was probably like eight dollars. And bottle. of course, we have to have a female to keep us online. Yes. Absolutely, Allie. 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 That's right. So if anybody gets out of line, just kick them in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just said, what? Hey, I'm way over here. She can't reach me. I got the You're table close. in between me and her. I'll turn right. my chair this way. All right. It's okay. You're safe. So <laughs> you want to get our shameless plugs out of the way? Yeah, I mean, hell, why not? Well, we got to do business. <laughs> Take care. Pay the bills. Got to do work, son. Twitter, outside the ring with a number one. Facebook, outside the ring. Email, Troy. Outside the ring, 316 at gmail.com. If we were doing a 30-second spot on the radio, we would still have 20 seconds. How about yes. that, huh? We would, and we would just BS our way through that. that entire 20 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. And with all that crap out of the way, is there anything else? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> A little bit gold dust there for you. We'll talk about our time at Raw and all the security crap we had to go through, but yeah, we'll do that, that after we do after this. After we do this. And what is it again? What do we do? What you know what we, you know what we do. We do it every week. I don't, that you dramatic might, pause? You might have to remind me. Are you going to be quiet so I can do my dramatic pause? No farting? It is now time. For Wow, one whistle. And it was Bob. Go figure. Damn janitor. He needs to get out of here. We got four people in the studio. We got Bob in here. God, Bob, you're stinking the place up. All right, so uh, there is a ton of heat right now. Ray Mysterio right now uh, feeling that uh, he was getting paid well. People are thinking he was getting paid well to sit at home and heal, but he couldn't stay clean. If you didn't know, he was suspended for 60 days. This was like last week, I think. We didn't hit on this in headlines last week because it was like the day after. Yeah. But Rey Mysterio, he got busted again. This time, oh. 60 days. Second, This is the second time. Would, would it be, I mean, he was out with injury. Was it, is it painkiller? My, my guess is j- Mexican jumping beans. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They said it, they said it was amphetamines. Oh. Amphetamines. He went south of the border and the, got some of the good wow. stuff. Well, the feeling was that some in the company believe that Kevin Nash's comments last week, you know, Big Diesel, about a friend being released by WWE were talking about Rey Mysterio, but haven't heard anything about Rey being released. He's currently serving that 60-day pa suspension. Speaking of suspension, so isn't Evan Bourne just about up? Uh, Is he he's, coming back? I don't he know. He got he, hurt, though. Didn't he get, like, yeah. an accident or well, something? He, he got suspended. Right. Then he got hurt while he was on suspension, but then he got busted a second time, so that was 60 days. Huh. He so. should be back soon. I don't know when, but they really don't need... I guess they could use him. Yeah, and but they just posted a thing on the I WWE. forgot even Rey Mysterio was in WWE. He's been gone for, like, what, a year? Something like Seriously, that. Seriously. He's and been I, gone you know, for a while. We're talking about Evan Warren and Rey Mysterio, and WWE posted on their Facebook something about the Cruiserweight title. Yeah. Bring it back. Yeah, why not? I mean, you get guys like Evan Bourne, get Ray rid of Mysterio, the Divas belt, and yeah. get b- bring back that and the hardcore belt. Exactly, that's what I want. That's what I'm not going to get it, but that's what I want. Yeah. So that's big. What, that's uh, what the fans want. You ain't going to get nope. it. What the hell are you thinking? Big shout out to the People's <laughs> Champion today. He's 40. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Bro- Happy birthday, Rock. Jabroni beaten, pie eaten, trailblazing, eyebrow raising, son of a gun. That's right. May 2nd, 1972. <laughs> the big 4 0 today. The Rock. The Rock is over the hill. He's yeah, over that right. hill. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's getting up. He's, that he's, goatee is starting he's, gray. He's rounding the hill, but he's not quite over it yet. Rock, your goatee is trash. Your stash is trash. Your beard is weird. You need. Freaking, who was that? Was that Emmett Smith in those commercials? Shout out to uh, Just for Men. Just for Men. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, the latest on Brock Lesnar flipping out after Extreme Rules uh, this past Sunday is that uh, he did he did cause a genuine ten- temper tantrum. I'm not making oh, these geez. words up. Some of it was fixed, Prima supposedly. Donna. How much of it was real and how much of it was a way to convince the other wrestlers that him losing to John Cena was the right call depends on who you ask. So according to our friends at the Wrestling Observer, not mine or yours, at least part of the tantrum, uh, maybe most of it was a work for the wrestlers, that there were several things that Lesnar 
did legitimately was he was legitimately upset about it. not upset enough to tear a locker room apart but nonetheless Lesnar was upset so basically to, to say it all you know he thought that he should have won which we thought yeah, so we too thought that. but you have to handle it in a better situation yeah. than tearing up a locker room it's like Christian throwing his temper tantrums back in the day one more match <laughs> one more match I'm just playing I don't know I miss Christian uh, they tried to get word uh, Monday afternoon that Lesnar had quit the company after a blow-up backstage Extreme Rules, so they were basically going to like try to like get TMZ and a bunch of other like fake it to make sh- to make things like Brock quit the company. God. Uh, WWE didn't do their best of jobs getting the story out. By the time the word got out, we also knew Lesnar was already backstage in the building in uh, Dayton to do the the next show, which we were at. So <laughs> there you go. Yep. What a big God. baby. Yeah, that's that's all he is. He, he felt like he deserved more than he got. Yep. I mean, I thought he should have won. I didn't yeah. think it made no sense at all to have Cena win that match. No. None. Why would you make John Cena win that match against Brock Lesnar after you built up Brock Lesnar to be this killer? I'm not a superstar. I'm an ass kicker. <laughs> and then he loses. After beating the hell out of John Cena for, like, the entire match, he loses. It's just like... The, so now uh, who do you ca- who cares? It's just I mean, like the over the limit here a year or so ago with him and The Miz in the I Quit match. Yep. Got his ass kicked through the entire match, and then just got hit a couple times with a, was it a belt. Hawk and smash! Then, and then Cena locked smash. it in the STF, and not even, like, two seconds in it. I quit! I quit! Right. What? How? From what I heard, it was a few weeks in advance, and Brock was told that Cena was going to win the match. Well, there you go. So he should have seen it coming. <laughs> he should have. You can't see that. <laughs> Sin Cara's WWE return expected very soon. Another guy that's been sitting out for a while. Really? During Monday's episode of Raw, the WWE Spanish announced team, go figure, revealed that. Was there a Spanish announced team at Raw? I, there was one table there. That's what I was Where were they at? In the back somewhere? I guess. <laughs> They're sitting next to Vince at the gorilla position. Well, they revealed that uh, Sin Cara is scheduled to make his WWE return to SmackDown. Four four. <laughs> yeah. Tapings uh, in Mexico, May 24th through the 26th. Actually, that's just like house shows there. Yeah. Sin Cara has been off WWE television since November last year, rehabbing a knee injury. So At least he hasn't had surgery in his left knee seven times. Uh, no. Of course, <laughs> they want they want him to come back for the Mexican tour, which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. He's younger that's than why Mysterio. They, that, that's, that's why they put Del, put the belt on Del Rio last year is because they was going on tour in Mexico. And, and then they, they took it Mexican off right champion. when they got back to the States. Yeah. That was sad. So it'll make you look good in your home your home country, but after that, eh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> so there goes your headlines for today, and uh, let's get to Raw. And uh, just so you know, we were we, there. We didn't watch it on TV. No, we were there. there. So everybody there. says we that. Were there. <laughs> yeah, people. Our voices, if you can't tell, yeah, some of us little, little, a little, little better for worse. worse. I'm not too great. My voice still sounds like ugh, my uh, opinion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But a lot of people are saying, like, on TV, it sucked. But we were there live, and yeah, it looked good. It looked really good. And like I said, it, it's the atmosphere. It is. It's the like fun being, of it. Actually being part of the chance, the yes chance, the mm-hmm. Cena sucks chance, which there fun. weren't a lot of. No, it was, it was a very... Fun. It was fun. It was a very... Very pro-Cena pro crowd, Cena crowd. Which kind of disappointed me. I was shocked, the I saw. The little kids were crying in the little crowd. <laughs> like, there were kids, like, bawling, <laughs> and were. we're sitting there laughing. There were. We felt like yeah, really mostly, bad human mostly beings. Mostly little kids and teenage girls. So <laughs> see yeah, the ones that were screaming right behind me. They were in my ear. Right behind us. Like, it was bad. loud as loud can be. <coughs> I wanted to turn around and just tell him that he's not that freaking good. Shut your mouth. We watched Superstars. Well, and, a couple uh, matches on Superstars. Woo, woo, woo. We had, we have, we Zack had. Ryder was on Superstars. So, so was Dolph Zach, Ziggler. Zack Ryder versus Michael, not Mr. Perfect, McGillicuddy. Z- uh, which he is still alive, apparently. Apparently, we were shocked. <laughs> then we had, Shocker of the we night. We had uh, Ziggler and Mason Ryan. Which actually was a decent match. It was match, a decent match. Which I was yeah. shocked at. Of course, that mean that that's that was because you know Dolph can sell a stiff breeze like it's gruesome. Death. Oh God, no kidding! <laughs> that guy can sell, man. <laughs> Next time we go, I'm making a sign that you know says Dolph can sell better than you know. <laughs> insert 
joke there. Yeah. I guess you could say. Sells it like a boss. He like sells it boss. like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I no, thought it was a good... Uh, uh, it was, was fun. Was that everything we got? That was Superstar. There wasn't much yeah. there. They didn't, Raw was They didn't good. do anything for NXT because they do that We saw Smackdown. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose and... Uh, he was also at the SmackDown table. Dean tables. Ambrose and Alex Riley was the dark match. Yep, and Dean Ambrose the... actually won, which I was thrilled to actually see him wrestle in person. Yeah, he's, that was cool. John Moxley, he's great. He was. He's, that was really cool to see. And then... Uh, he's great on the mic, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, yeah. he did he, some he, mic he work when he came out. He cut a promo about changing the landscape of the WWE. Yep. It was really good. It was good stuff. And then Raw was... Uh, Raw was okay. I thought that it was just fun yeah, to yeah, be I there. I thought it was going to be bad when, first of all, they started out with no opening pyro. I was kind of looking forward to that. And second of all, they started off with Big Johnny. Yeah, well, Big Johnny is big boring. <laughs> big Johnny But thank music. God Triple yeah. H came out and saved that the day. Was, yeah. It was that, cool. That, that I've was seen probably, Triple H live. That was probably the pop of the night. Yes. That place erupted I, when he came out. Yeah, it was hard mm-hmm. to hear even like Triple H talk at first because people were going nuts. I think a lot of people didn't know he was there. Yeah. I honest to God think that, but I kind of broke well, the know story on, when on, we were driving down that yeah. he was going to be on, there and kind of ruined uh, it. The Nutter Center. I, I, still, on the, I still wasn't expecting him to come out. I thought it was just going to be backstage. Yeah, mm-hmm. at the, on the Nutter Center's yeah. website, they they <laughs> didn't advertise him, so that was like a surprise. It was thing. nice. It was really cool seeing him because he's fun to see live. I yeah. mean, his entrance is awesome. Although he didn't do the water thing. Well, he was. That was. He was cool. in his suit. Dad. Yeah, you I forgot. Get to, wet, uh, I want to get wet. <laughs> Which he does in person. <laughs> um, so, pff, yeah, it, it was fun. Raw started off with Lesnar. Big Johnny coming out, introducing Lesnar. Star of the show. Yeah, it, and the graphic actually said, you know, Monday Night Raw Super Show. That's why there was no pyro. Lesnar, yeah. Yep. And then Triple H came out. This is my show. He, he was basically saying shut that. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he basically shut the entire up. promo was telling Johnny to shut up. Which the crowd was. And he totally was telling. It with. Uh, Bro- he was talking about Brock uh, bullied uh, Laura Nitus into giving him everything he had in his contract, and then right. the, the the contract that they actually negotiated was fair enough. S- yep. So and and basically it was Brock either you take the contract that we originally negotiated or you're done. And yep. he did not like that. No, nope. and Brock beat the crap out of Triple H, now, broke his hand, mm-hmm. quote unquote. I mean, he played it off. It really was good. very he good. Like, he had it like cricked to the side. It actually looked like Lesnar actually Someone went in on it. it. He yeah. sold he sold <laughs> that hand injury like a what? Like, like a, a ball. Thank you. That was and, pretty uh, good. And uh, yeah, <laughs> after the beatdown, uh, the Big Show, Sheamus, R Truth, and Kofi came out to yep. help Triple H at the back, and R Truth just yelled, "Someone get a doctor!" Yeah, <laughs> someone get a doctor. <laughs> oh, we in Dayton, <laughs> little Jimmy, go get a doctor. Milwaukee, yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. You in the wrong state, boy. It was really funny just to hear that whole part because it was so unnecessary. Get a doctor. No kidding. Obviously, Triple H needs a doctor. He's on the ground. He's, he's holding his hand. Triple H just be like, no, I'm good, Dad. No, I'm good. My hand's okay. Uh, How he was holding that, though, man. Yeah, it like, looked like it, it was like off center. Uh, I got good medical coverage. Uh, <laughs> I would hope so. And a private jet. Yeah. But, uh... So that still makes me mad. You just use the company jet ten times a year. Yeah, uh, you would too. <laughs> <laughs> so I would. Uh, what a personal I, jet. No, I thought Raw started off pretty good, and then yeah. we went to uh, Kofi Kingston. No, nope, that nope, was later. Nope, 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 nope. I don't remember what the exactly we went to. The that. divas. The divas. Were, the divas, we divas were not even a match. The Bellas like, are the gone. Bellas started off with mm-hmm. the beat the clock challenge. Yeah, the yeah. beat the clock challenge with Miz and Santino, which we were shocked. We Miz were, won. You know, I heard. You know, we were there. Of course, I heard Miz come out. Of course, I lost it because I popped. I'm, a huge Miz fan. We popped. And then Santino came out, and I immediately started swearing at him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Santino I think is I have, so annoying. Yeah, we it, have a uh, video that I'll post later. Yeah, if you haven't <laughs> noticed, we've. You, I think the open had it, right? Yeah. It had, our it video, had a couple, so. couple of our vlogs from the trip. And then, uh, yeah, it, it was a. Uh, yeah. We lost our voices. Yeah. Either popping, booing, cussing, you name it. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> telling little kids to shut up. Um, or, or we were either yesing or seeing, yes. as they would do with Del Rio. See, see, see. 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 <laughs> Shout out to uh, all the Mexican people out there. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Then. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Miz won. Clean. Miz won clean. And he, and he set the clock at, set like, the bar. Four, four minutes or something like that. 18 seconds, something like that. 418, I think it was. Yeah, yep, because... Uh... And so then Orton beat it. Orton beat it at four sixteen. Because uh, Jericho fought Big Show. 
Yep. Jer- Jer- Jericho and that, and that actually ended when the Jericho's clock ran pop out. Just shocked the hell out of us. We were sitting down. Oh no! What and the, shocked and the, the clock, hell out of me was his pyro that went off. Right. The it was clock. Coming, it was loud the as hell clock, in those arenas. The uh, we didn't know the match was up. The the, the lights went out. You hear was, that? You hear that? Like yeah, throwing the that, switch. Doo, doo. The, and we knew Jericho's coming. And all of a sudden, you're not expecting it. Boom! You didn't see his jacket. No. Normally, he would right. Like he the would come would go out. out. The jacket would light up, and then the pyro hits. But no, they decided they to mess ball. with our ears. And all of a sudden, the pyro went off, and how Jericho came out with his night with bright my, jacket. How, how dare they toy with my emotions? Oh, they toyed, <laughs> and our our ears popped. We popped for Jericho. Yes. No pun intended. We popped for Jericho before the pyro even hit. Yeah. We heard, we heard that light. <laughs> we like, yes, knew it was Jericho. It's him. And uh, that was a cool little segment. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't the last time at least we saw Jericho in the night. Jericho came out. He came back out for the dark match main event with oh, uh, CM, CM Punk. Punk. Yep. It was a good. Uh, it was for the title. And right there I knew, oh, gee, is Punk winning? <laughs> no, he wasn't. But Jericho came out, cut a promo on uh, <coughs> how he's still the best in the world at what he does. Yep. Then Big Show comes out. Big his Show, Jericho. Didn't, his pyro didn't get me that much no. because I knew it was coming. I we knew, knew when to expect it. We knew it. Uh, Big Show came out, had a decent match, Jericho. And Jericho won with Jer- a count out? Yes. I don't think But he didn't beat won. the clock. Yeah, yeah, he won with a count out. But, but they didn't. They kind of yeah. just threw the match. Like The, yeah, they, the ref like, was I like I at nine. Bell. The ref totally botched the ending. Yeah, yeah the ref like, was the at ref like was nine. At nine. The clock hit zero, and then he hit ten. He raised Jericho's arm, but he didn't beat the yeah, clock. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. weird. Um, so Miz still had the record, and then it was like Orton against Orton. Orton. Jack Swagger. Yeah, it was Orton against Swagger. Swagger and almost had it. But Orton beat the clock, Orton, and yep, he, he set, set the bar. Well, let's just go through all these matches yeah, first. The the By the way, whoever won the beat the clock challenge fights Punk, Punk at, at Over, over the, the Limit. limit. And the last match <laughs> in the, we beat, the last match in the beat the so clock weird. challenge was so foreshadowing. Yep, it was Daniel Bryan versus Jerry the King Lawler. We were Gee, shocked. Going to win that? Huh, one. We were absolutely shocked. I mean, he shocked. beat it with like almost two minutes to go. It was not even worth it. I mean, no. put him in him out there with somebody who put him out there with our truth. Yeah, would've I mean, somebody better. would have been out there. Well, we know well, why truth, they didn't use our truth. truth. Yeah, truth was because truth, we truth wrestled with Kofi against right. Epico and Primo and won the tag team titles. Right, Daniel. Yep. Oh yeah, Kane. Don't Kane. Oh yeah, Kane and Don't Kali Kane. were in the beat the clock challenge, and that's why we forgot because yeah. Kali was in the match. Yep. That Maybe match ended with uh, they didn't beat the clock. No, they just basically stiffed each other the entire. But Daniel match. Bryan beat King the fastest, yeah. and, Daniel, and Bryan Daniel Bryan has is a shot going against Punk, which is going to be a great match. Oh yeah, yes. that he match is going to be good if they give it time. Review setting exactly. They got to give it time. Yeah, though. you don't give that match ten minutes and go. No, you let them go out there for 20, 30 like minutes. Like they did on go. Raw. Yeah, they did on Raw, but it was good. Yeah, but they didn't go long enough. Didn't that go now, to a time limit draw? No, something somebody Jericho ran in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah spoiled yeah, yeah, the whole yeah, yeah, damn yeah. thing. This one's gonna be good. Yes, this one's gonna be and really then, uh, good. The the divas, as we said, they they wrestled right before Jericho's match, and yeah, yeah I, Layla I, won. I, I said Less wrestled. Yeah, because Layla came back at Extreme Rules. The Bella Twins came out. They were both in the match. Yep. Layla came out. This match lasted just about as long as Daniel Bryan and Sheamus's match, if not shorter. Twenty seconds. I mean. It, it, uh, Layla shoved one of the bellas into the other. She fell out of the ring. Layla rolled her up. Pin. Right. That's it. That right. was it. Mm-hmm. The Bella's last match in WWE. <sighs> yep. Um, but so either way, I mean. <sighs> oh, and then we had uh, JTG, who yes, still has a job. <laughs> versus. <laughs> somebody, call <my> <laughs> somebody call my mama. Somebody call my mama. Somebody call my mama. Look at the, the oh clapping God. going on. Very nice. Uh, How'd you like that, Troy? Uh, I, Live. I hate you all. We saw the disco ball. I hate you all. Stop doing the dinosaur <laughs> dance. Oh, my God. The disco oh ball God. went up. Yeah, I was looking for the cage because I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll do a cage match. I did not even see this giant gleaming disco ball no. until they actually lowered it for him. I'm like, Damn it! Yeah, they showed the well, disco ball more, and more vulgar words than but that. After and, uh, the match, the little mini Seamus. It, uh, you guys yes, yeah, out, out in the parking lot, that. we actually did see Seamus of sorts. This yes. kid in the parking lot had the 
flaming red hair, had yep. spiked up like shavings, and he had his beard and his goatee drawn on with an orange magic marker. Yes, it was good stuff because the kid looked just like yeah. Seamus mm-hmm. to yeah. a T. We wanted to get a picture with him. But then we didn't want his parents beating us with a cane either. Yeah. So, hey, can we get a picture with your son? <laughs> get away from me, weirdos. Yeah. No. He would have did the thing on his chest like... <laughs> <laughs> And he would, you know, would have been. And also, up. I want to say, while we were outside waiting for the doors to open, it started raining, and the line that we were in just rushed it towards was free the for door. All, the, the security, yeah, I've the been security to WWE events. The security events. at the Nutter there Center no sucks. No, the Nutter Center about? sucks. Yeah, the, the security sucks. Their staff there isn't the greatest because they had easily. 500 people. It's at, like they weren't expecting nobody to show yeah, up. They had, they, they had like 500 people just at the gate we were at, and they opened one door with two people checking the tickets. It was really stupid. It was absolutely Dumb. garbage the way they handled it. Not only that, there was a smackdown <laughs> in oh, the yeah, line for nachos. That. Yes. Okay, yeah. so there was Go stuff ahead. going on. Go ahead. Big man, like 400 pounds, and this little itty bitty skinny boy. Dude, he came up. He won those nachos. I thought that poor little man was going to die. I thought oh, he was going to sit on them. Got an F five of them, they, they, and it's because he he cut in line, right? There was three lines, but they were like merging together. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, oh, big boy wanted those nachos. You, you don't get in front of a fat. Man. Somebody as gonna a, get the ass as kicked. A fellow, <laughs> Mark as, Henry says. As a fellow fat man, <laughs> you don't mess with a fat man and his nachos. He wants the damn nachos, man. He's lucky Mark Henry wasn't there. He would have beat the hell out of him. Oh God, uh, Henry would have just bulldozed everyone. Hey, man. Give me them nachos. Give me those, give me those nachos, man. But the catering was out in the back. Give me the nachos. <laughs> it's gonna be six dollars. I said, give them to me. Nine oh God. Nine. Imagine $9 catering dollars for those dollars. nachos you got. Mm-hmm. Imagine oh, catering's I feel, I, face when I feel they bad for eating those now. That you you think when like me. WWE Should like like when WWE has like catering, do you think they get scared when they see Big Show, Mark Henry, and Brodus Clay all walk Big in Show, at the same Mark time? Henry, Brodus Clay. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, more food, more food. Don't bother cooking it. Just send it out. <laughs> oh my god, Mark Henry, Big Show, and Brodus Fat Clay. Oh, His God. big titties are coming. Bro, or as you called him, Brodus Fay. Brodus Fay, a little mixture Bert, of Bertha Fay and yes. Brodus had a kid. But either way, uh, we finally got to see Punk because he came out yeah, after he, Daniel he, Bryan no, won. He showed came, the belt. He, and yeah, left. he came out and just kind of showed the belt and left, basically just saying, you know, I got you over the limit, and yep. that's about it. Yep. And then yeah, I was watching the, uh, <laughs> the next day because I, I DVR'd it. He said Punk was telling him, "You bring your best," and Daniel Bryan saying, "You bring your best." That was cool. That's going to be a good That match, match is going to be awesome. That's going to be a really good And match. then, of course, at the end, Cena, we don't know who he's going to fight at No Limit. Oh, no, Over the limit. No, we don't. <gasps> I called it. I said it was going to be Batista. I, we started we getting all hyped on be, that, as as, which I don't know why as as we Laura thought that. Laura said, his opponent at Over the Limit is going to be, and I just yelled we out, Batista! Knew. Right. We kind of knew. We had a feeling. We were, And then we were like, no, it's probably going to be Tensai, because yeah. Tensai yeah. beat him. Yeah. And sure enough, Tensai mm-hmm. comes the out. guy that thinks he's Japanese comes out. Sweet A-train. I start chanting Albert. 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 Chang Toy Tong. Yeah, his theme music is the <laughs> stupidest theme music ever. He comes out. His he little gets his in little, the ring. His little follower worshiper Sakamoto. So we think we think it's the artist formerly <laughs> known as Albert A Train, now known as Tensai against Cena and Over the Limit. Yeah. But hold the phone. Big Johnny gets behind Big, Cena. Yeah, no, 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 no. Cena turns to right. look at Tensai, and Big Johnny just clobbers him with a microphone. Yep. Like that. Yeah. Like like that. He and hits then, Cena uh, right in the back of the head. Sakamoto kicks him as he's trying to get up. Ten Your opponent. Or something. And after he, first of all, the chair shot he gives to Cena is supposed to land on his arm. It hits Cena. I think John gets hit in his hand. Yeah. Like legit because Laurinaitis like, never was a good worker. Yeah. And obviously he's proving it. <laughs> because really? I mean, he, he, kicked John, he, he kicked John a couple times and it looked like he didn't pull him. No, he was an idiot. I mean, he kind of went Lesnar on him. Yeah. I don't know if this is WWE's new policy. Oh, hey, when you guys get in the ring, beat the hell out of each other. Just right. do it. Beat the hell out of my wife, my kids. <laughs> Who would care? Beat the hell out of them. <laughs> I don't care. Make it look real, damn it. <laughs> That's what... that. <laughs> That's what he said, probably. Probably. Just just do it, Johnny. Yeah. So, Johnny, you know, he's... You ain't going to hurt him anyway. You could so hurt a fly. Your opponent heading over the limit is going to be me. So, we get John Cena, which makes it bad right there. It gets worse. John Laurinaitis. Oh, John against John. Oh, my John. God. This is going to be the worst match. The one the guy that makes Cena look like Daniel Bryan <laughs> is John Laurinaitis. At the end, I like how he did. 
Yes, yes, he told and Cena. And did the you whole can't see me. Whole, you, you can't, can't see, see me. me. Oh, can you see my pack of cigarettes? I need one right now. <laughs> If that's, if that's the main event, I'll throw my computer through the window. Oh, God. If yeah, that's the main I event, you will be so proud of me. Oh, God. You will see the greatest match. You know, they time. always say that, you know, they'll put people with uh, in, like, authority positions on yes. TV when somebody's in danger of losing their job. Yes. Who's going to get fired to where Laurinaitis is going to be possibly main eventing a pay-per-view? If I win this match, I promise more people power. And oh something God, about the whole people, people power. power crap. They blew I love that. It. The, Oh God! It's not. He was repeating himself. John yes. was. Cena was. We were all like, "What?" Yeah. Yes, yeah. Cena, Cena couldn't hear the audience, or the audience couldn't hear Cena because the, the audience said, "What?" And John, what was really nice and said it again, what, and then again, what, and again, what. what? OTR what? is the best. <laughs> what in the world? What, what? podcast? What? what wrestling? Okay, what? okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so yeah. That was beautiful. Oh, so that was oh, wrong. Also, by the way, we need to Cena get up. ended we up to, laying down. To, we need to uh, get our Hogan sex tape joke in somewhere. Oh, oh no. So. <laughs> when Lauren Artis found out that he was main eventing over the limit, his ego stood up just like Hulk Hogan's third leg. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> you got a better one? <laughs> no. All right. I made that up off the block. Off hey, the, hey, look at that. It, off it top was better than just sitting here in silence while we thought of something. <laughs> right. Which is kind of what that woman did when Hogan <laughs> dropped down his throat. No! Oh! All right, there's two. Wow. Did you want another one? Uh, no, let's. No unless more. you want, unless you no want more. to go for the hat trick. Oh no! <laughs> there's a joke somewhere in there with hat trick. We can Remember? always go in there. So we can always. <laughs> we can always dig deep for a hat trick, just like Hogan did. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh Lord. Jeez. Yeah, okay. baby. Okay. I just had to get my Jericho in there. Okay. My voice started getting back. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. No you more get Hogan. You guys back in line, huh? Uh, uh, so <laughs> that's your job. Woo. You're hey, the woman. Hey, hey, stay over there. No, you get, get back in your seat. Sit hey. down. Sit down. Sit down. Or fired. Oh, <laughs> Vince McMahon there. You don't even work here, but you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. You want a job? Yeah. Okay, you're hired. Now you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh man! So th- we had a good time. Yes, Raw was fun. Other than the crappy security, the line for the bathroom. And I can understand how people. I didn't have a problem. We it's had one. You gotta, you gotta, and think, we're men, gotta, and we still had to wait in yeah, line to go to the bathroom. Though, all the guys there are probably drinking beer and all that all the, all night. T-shirts. You had a beer bucks. that I bought you. Yeah. Um, I was not going to buy a t-shirt. It was no. like $25. When we can, uh, when, beer when, was $6. When we can, Freaking sock, when we can When we yes. can go oh, to Hot so Topic here in town at the mall and get a CM Punk Rocks. By the way, I like how whatever. you sounded like Macho Man there, Allie. Mm-hmm. You were like, freaking sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Wait, not man. paying a beer for $6. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. What do you mean to tell me a beer is $6? I don't like that. Dig it. Dig it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to give you three. Buy some slim I'm going to put you in there for three minutes. Okay. Ah. Ooh, yeah. Wait, what's up, brother? <laughs> My third leg and I were oh, talking, no. dude. Oh, no. We don't need that, Hulk. And I said to myself, what Wait. the hell? My third leg needs a beer, brother. You know what I mean, Macho Madness? Oh, no. <laughs> This show is broken down to the oh, third God. stage of hell. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I think we're, we're slowly getting towards the stage of hell where the Cena Garden Gnome came from. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. That's deep. Uh, yeah, the blue flame. He, I think he's down there with the lawyers and all yeah. that crap. Yep. Uh, but Raw but yeah, was, it was, it was, it was fun. so fun to be there, but I can understand on TV how people were like, eh, it was okay. Yeah, but again, it's the atmosphere. opening segment was, I thought, really good. And the ending was eh. eh. Until the dark match. The dark which, match. Yeah, it was the CM dark Punk match. and Jericho for Which the no title. one saw on TV. No. Obviously. And we knew who was going to win. Yeah. And once Jer- they said Jer- the title Jericho on the line. came out bad mouthing the people. You guys suck. You live in Dayton, baby. Yeah. He was yeah. bad mouthing the town, which I was yep. like, he's like, you suck because you live in Dayton. I'm like, I'm not from Dayton, so I don't care. I agree. It does suck. <laughs> uh,. So oh, yeah. it's funny because Punk comes out and Jericho's in mid sentence and he's done it before, whether he's got RKO'd, speared, whatever. Jericho does this thing where he's in mid sentence and he gets hit. Yeah, and he's like, you know, Punk, you are a drunk just like your father. Yeah, which it was is hilarious because he said cause father. It, yeah, he said it like a, he had like a Austin Powers sound to it. He's like father. father. Yeah, and then he's like in mid sentence, he's like, you know what's up? <laughs> And he does that. He goes, yeah. what? And he gets tackled <laughs> by CM Punk. Hilarious. And the only thing that saddened me about what? the show was Punk didn't talk. What? 
Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> but he did make up after the match. Yeah. Yes. Seen random. Yeah, I had to. I, I had to hold you back from. We were in the 17th seat or 17th row up in the stands. She wanted to run down all the way down to the floor, all the way to the front, just for a chance to get close to CM Punk. Yo, CM I, Punk. Okay, yeah, okay. I had to hold her back. I was like, "You'll get busted by security." Yeah. Which she probably wouldn't have because the nutbag center has crappy security. Hey, exactly. Where are you no going? Security. I'm going over the railing. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> just fine. Be, just be back before dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a dark match. Does that mean uh, they can jump over the guardrail? I guess so. Uh, I don't care. He stayed around for a while, though, after the match. Yeah, he was he, uh, he, kissing he, camera guys he kissed and women. A, and a, a whatever. female security guard. He, it was yeah. pretty he funny. He soundboard. Yeah, the soundboard girl. He was messing with people. He yeah. stayed around for quite a bit. Yeah. And I could have made it, man. <laughs> the last time there. I saw someone do that. I got, I got elbowed that. in my ribs for the trouble of holding her back. The last time I saw I somebody <laughs> stay along like that long, we were in Cleveland watching a Raw, and Stone Cold was the GM or whatever, and he was doing this thing where he, he was drinking and drinking, and that's how Raw ended. Yeah. But he kept drinking after <laughs> into the dark match. Like, there was no dark match. It was Stone Cold drinking. That was the dark match. <laughs> and eventually he got so drunk. He This is when the announce table, remember was, how they did it up, the up on the stage? Yeah. When Bischoff was in charge and all that? Stone oh, Cold... That. It's called the Oakland position. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stone Cold was flying down the entrance ramp on the one of the JR or King's chairs. Like going down the stage like a like it was a roller I've had, coaster. I've done those before. And he, off, and he fell when he off, got to the top or off, the bottom. Office chair races. Yeah, oh dude, it was the funniest. He stayed around for and he's in the ring. Oh, you know, at least I I got a designated driver tonight. I just want to let everybody know. He was swimming in his beer. He was, he was on the ground saying, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. So the beer won. Oh, yes. Oh, man, it was hilarious. <laughs> meanwhile, every Bring the time. Bell, Austin loses. Right. Meanwhile, Triple H keeps trying to get up in the ring, and Triple H was like the heel at the time yeah. with Evolution. And every time he kept trying to get up, he got another stunner. And he got like 16 <laughs> stunners. He'd get back up and he'd get another stunner. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but good. Raw was fun because you, yeah. you go there and you see people. Act like idiots. Yeah. So you act like idiots, and then you have yeah. fun. Pretty much. Overall, guys, it's, good it, time. It was a good time. Oh, definitely, Woo! definitely. It was. Yeah. I mean, it, I, like I've said on our Facebook, it was the. It's just the atmosphere. Yeah. Being there to you know boo your your uh, your least favorites, do whoever you want, be part of the chants, all that. There was no, it, like you said before, there was no Cena sucks chance that, at all. Yeah, that, that I was really, shocked. It, yeah. How many Cena shirts did we see? Too a many. Lot. How many? A Too lot. many. If I was gonna nail the, the the pop of the night or like no reaction of the night, heat of the Golly. night, no Vic, reaction. Vicky got the heat. Vicky of the night. Vicky got the heat of the night. You could not even hear her. And those on the, people, in the people arena. that say that, oh, she just sucks. Whatever. She is over big time with the fans. Though. Yeah. She's more over with like as a heel than most the heels are. Yeah. Seriously, she gets more heel than Dolphin Swagger do. <laughs> um, and then I'd say the pop of the night was probably Triple H. Orton Triple was pretty H, good. Triple H, punk. Orton, punk. Daniel Bryan, Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder was. Oh, Superstars. Yeah. Rodas Clay, not so much. It was yeah. kind of eh in the middle. Yeah. Um, I was watching, the, was watching his match on DVR, too. He was tipping. It was, you know how they whisper, like, what they're going to do and yeah. stuff during the match. You can hear him tell JTG what he was going to do during the Brodus match. Rodas Clay, hey, I'm going to hit you with my left titty. <laughs> Emma, here, I'm going to hit you with your right titty. Now I'm going to sit on you. Ding, 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 ding. Oh you know you yeah, he did borders. You know you love him, Troy. No, I he don't. would not take the. I really yeah. don't. No, he don't. Um, no really, reaction really don't. was Kali. Kali, Kali no had reaction. no None. reaction. That whole None. match had almost no, no reaction. They popped no. for Kane. We tried to start it. a boring champ, but yep. it wouldn't get rolling. People in Dayton, like honestly, those wrestling fans are not huge. Yeah, like, I, I, they have fun. Like if we, but go, it was if, more kids if we would there, go to I'm Cleveland, it would have been huge. And I heard that SmackDown was good too. The next day in Toledo, they probably had a better crowd. Yeah. Dayton was just kind of And, I, and one, one of my friends on Facebook went, and apparently Randy Orton smells like baby powder. He smells like baby powder? <laughs> yeah. My friend they, was up by the stage and got to shake his hand and touch him. And, and, and punk. punk. Did he RKO anybody in the crowd? <laughs> but no, hey, my, you got a my, cigarette? My, hey, you got a my, cigarette? My, my friend, she, she went to SmackDown with her and a group of friends, and they were front row. They said that uh, Sheamus took a bump into the guardrail so hard that it came back and spilled all their beers on him. Uh, Randy Orton smells. Wow. Randy Orton smells like baby powder, and apparently Lillian Garcia didn't wear underwear that night. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that! All right. 
Hey, brother, if you don't want to wear undergarments, brother, you know, I can show you my third leg of doom, dude. <laughs> what you gonna do when the Hulkamaniacs and my third leg run wild on you? And now we know the guys want front row seats yeah. next oh, time. God. Yes, Hogan does. I, think, oh, I, was, no, no. I, was, I was kind of upset that Lillian didn't sing the national anthem, though. But she, she probably uh, wasn't there. She's probably you. in Toledo Lillian already. Lillian Garcia's property of the Rock Strudel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I That's, forgot about that. Yeah, we you got, forgot about that. You mess with Lillian, you, you mess with the rock. You know about the strudel, mama. <laughs> you know about the strudel, mama. Yeah. He's uh, okay. Happy birthday, rock. That's all I gotta yes. say. Um, Can we sing happy birthday to him? You know, I, I no. can't sing. Oh, no. Copyright. I'm not singing on the, him. Uh, copyright on the happy birthday. We'll owe somebody like fifty thousand yeah. dollars. And, and the studio equipment yeah. plus the happy studio birthday, windows. Happy birthday, cha cha cha. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Troy. <laughs> nice. Do Don't. that little dance again, there, Troy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was almost as good as the Brodus Clay dance. I know. Look hey, at you've that. been taking lessons. Oh man, look at him. Oh shit. <laughs> ah, God, what was that for? Serves you right. Ah, damn. Serves you right. Here, take another. Ah. One. ah! <laughs> Ah! Am I gonna have to get you gentlemen back in line? That's almost like the woo. You know, if, <laughs> if I go over here, come here, let me see your chest. Come here. Come here. Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. what are we doing? Ah, son of a woo! Ow! Ah, get off woo. me! No! Ow! Woo. That wasn't even ow! <laughs> it wasn't even on my chest that time. Alright. <laughs> Good lord. Sorry for ah. the fighting in here. I got like a handprint now. Alright. Oh Are we comp ah? God. Serves you right. All right, that's enough. That's in my eye. Thanks. <laughs> that's what she said. I'm gonna Especially knock you on the ground and give you a Jericho slipping drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> Take this punch. Ah! Jericho fell in his ass. Yes, which I posted on our Facebook page <laughs> again today. Oh, uh, so all overall. It was, a good, it was a good show, and today we, we apologize. Today is going to be a short show because we don't have any of the announcement. Uh, like we didn't hear any of the announcers, so we can't talk about their screw up. How back hole was? <laughs> uh, we I did like during headlines talk to you about the Brock Lesnar deal where yeah. he was going nuts. So as noted before, Brock Lesnar. This just came up on NoDQ.com. Brock Lesnar was told that he would be losing to Cena like weeks ago. And Lesnar had been made clear about it. It's not about the money, not the ego. If they want him to lose, he has no problem with it. He, as long as they play fair with him. According to sources, it was made clear to Cena and Lesnar that their feud would be only a one-match program. What? Officials that Lesnar, so officials felt yes. that Lesnar could leave at any time that they needed their top guy getting the win first time out to make sure that it happened. Huh? WWE has already used five of Lesnar's limited dates in the first month of his contract, so expect him to be used sparingly, if at all, over the next few months. Why even bring him back? I know. Five? That's it? Five days? Well, that's all they've used so far. Well, it says they've already used five of Lesnar's limited days. Okay, I wonder how many limited, how many days does he have? Uh... Left now. They of course they're they're building Lesnar versus Triple H for SummerSlam. It's in the works, which yeah. I told you at yeah. Raw when Triple H is going to be out for a while. Yeah, they're going to build this up, build it up to SummerSlam, which is fine. Yep, that should be a good match. Um, hopefully, hopefully he won't go freaking aggro on on Triple, Triple H, H like he did with Cena. Hey, I'm gonna push you. <laughs> yeah, those, those they, let's talk about that really quick. Those Extreme elbows, rules. Those elbows were um, very uh, before yeah, we yeah, wrap we up. We didn't touch on that yet. There's not much I mean, you guys know who won, who lost, yeah. but the let, the focus on the Lesnar Cena match. Yeah. Because it that was, match was brutal. We saw it, blood. It was a good blood. We saw blood the hard way. Too. Yeah. It was a good match, but the ending was absolute crap. Yeah, just Cena winning made no sense. Again, which it, I understand why Brock it, was kind of it mad about it. It was just like over the limit a few years ago. Cena got his ass kicked like ninety like percent of that it. match. We know Cena's their top guy, but don't put then if you don't want Cena to lose, don't put him against Brock Lesnar. Exactly. It would have made you're more. Shaking your head. <laughs> it just doesn't make what is he? sense. What is he? What, you, what did you call him again? A freaking monkey. There you go. Yes. You censored yourself. <laughs> He's a freaking monkey. But I don't understand I why you, you built this guy I told you yesterday, up. keep the word freaking in your mind for Good today. Job. Good job. <laughs> now you're going to make me say it. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I don't, I don't understand it. I, I, There's when no... You, it just if you're going to make Brock lose that fast. Why bring him back if you're going to make Jericho lose that fast? It's why almost bring like him they. Back? It's almost like they brought Cena back. They brought Brock back just to get Sweener. 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 The, the reason they brought <laughs> Brock back, in my opinion, was to just get Cena's swagger back because he lost to The Rock. And he. he 
and they needed Cena to beat a big guy. So yeah, they brought in Brock for him to beat. They brought That's in stupid. they brought in Brock and they turned him into a bully. They aligned him with Laurinaitis all in a desperate attempt to yep. get Cena back over and Which it's it not did. working. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't work. The same people that like Cena like Cena. The same people that hate Cena hate Cena. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Nothing's changed. And I don't understand it. I mean, they should have had Lesnar whoop Cena so bad. Beat him. Had John take three weeks, four or five weeks off. Take two months off. Yeah. And then still do the thing with Triple H. And then at SummerSlam, still no Cena back. Triple H versus Lesnar. And maybe have Lesnar win again. Mm -hmm. Beat Triple H, the old vet. Good classic match. Then have Cena come back and whoop, put a beat down on Lesnar. Yeah. You would have had three or four months of let Cena gone. Legitimately, like people are like, "Wow, he's still gone. He's yeah. hurt." Yeah. Then come back and beat the I mean, hell. Yes, then I, you build a we, rematch. We understand, John. You love the business. You live, eat, breathe, crap, bleed this business. Take a break. You're gonna work yourself into an early grave. I blame the I blame the writers more than I do Cena. No, I blame Vince because Vince well, won't let that money go. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make from a business point of view. I don't have I don't care if Cena would have won the second match with the two, but I don't understand. It just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. But you know what does make sense? What? We're gonna go out to the guy that we were chanting for in Dayton, Ohio. Yes! 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 There yes! you go. There you go. <laughs> There you go. We are going out to DB. <laughs> Daniel Bryan, Booker T's favorite wrestler dog. He's in his, he's in his fave five. He's in his fave. What, what's uh, Booker T called Daniel Bryan? D-Bryan. 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 Booker T. <laughs> the one thing I missed about going to Raw was I didn't need to see Booker T. Oh, man. I wish we could have went to SmackDown, I know. too. Can you dig it, sucker? That'd be sucker. great. All right, so we are uh, out of here. Real quick, what? Um, how did Ryder win the match? Did he hit the Rough Rider? Okay. Because yep. I, 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 I was getting beer at that time. Yeah. I didn't Your care. $6 beer. Yeah, I just I, and I just you would have known I, that you would have stayed. I heard the crowd cheer. I heard the one, two, three, and I heard Ryder's music. You knew there. Ryder was going to yeah, win. Yeah, I just didn't know against the not so perfect. Yeah, uh, Michael McGillicuddy, <laughs> come Pumper. on. Yeah. So we'll try it next week. We're going to actually watch Raw this time. That'll be fun. Yep. Uh, so we'll see you this time next week. Uh, my name is the one, the only Jason. Murphy. Yeah, baby, my voice is back. Murphy, <laughs> alongside the one, the only Troy. He doesn't drink Miller. Doesn't drink Bud Light. You give him a $6 beer and everything's all right. Troy Stone Cold. But I do drink Bud Light. And that didn't make any sense at all? No. Austin. <laughs> our guest, give it up for our guest tonight. Eric and Allie, always a pleasure to have you. Absolutely. And Thank only, you for listening to us. The only bad part is that now these two know where we are, and if we piss off any of our fans, they can find us and yes. throw a dead cat or whatever through our windows here. Yeah. A- absolutely. <laughs> So with all that said, we will see you next week, hopefully for a better Raw, a good Raw, and next week outside the ring. Jason.